Pew 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 pew. Pew pew pew. Die. Resistance come die. Oh. oh, didn't see you there. You know you would do the same thing if you had this. Pew 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 pew. The dark side's winning. Your first order to get your Tie Fighter Black Series uh, vehicle at BigBadToyStore.com. Link is in the description. Oh, man, kids. It's time for you. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of Star Wars The Force Awakens The Black Series First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter with TIE Fighter Pilot. This packaging is huge! Star Wars The Black Series logo right there. Big old picture of the TIE Fighter as well as a picture of it with the TIE Fighter Pilot right there. It's a special uh, Forces TIE Fighter. So it has that red right there and there's the TIE Fighter Pilot. Warn you on choke on your TIE Fighter because your first order will be to die! One side of the packaging has Star Wars The Black Series with a nice picture of the TIE Fighter pilot, while the other side is a big old 0-1 as well as the First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter. The top of the packaging says Star Wars The Black Series while showing the pictures of all the different details of the TIE Fighter. The back of the packaging has many different pictures of the TIE Fighter showing all the different details. Front the back, the inside uh, shows all the different canopies and it has a little bow right there. The elite of the First Order Star Fighter pilots have access to specialized crafts such as a two-seater TIE craft outed with enhanced weapons and sensor system. Well my first order is to open up and assemble this. So there is some minor assembly right out of the box to put together your TIE Fighter. Not including the TIE Fighter pilot and his blaster. You get six separate pieces. You get the cockpit, the two wings, tenna, as well as his uh, little turrets underneath and the canopy door. You do get the instructions on how to put it together so it's pretty simple. The little canopy door right here and put it on top there we go close this up then we want to take this part right here plug it in there now we want to attach the wings let's plug this in it seems to be nice and tight and once you push in the other wing you just take this little part right here and you want to put it underneath the underneath side where the hole is right there so let's start with the tie fighter pilot his helmet has a really nice design it's really cool it has these red stripes which i didn't see on the hot toys one so i don't know because it's special forces it has the red stripes shiny uh feel of the armor and uh, the chest plate has some really nice paint apps as you can see. I really love the detailing. I love how the wrinkles of the black uniform, TIE Fighter boot, <laughs> and I love the belt on here. It doesn't have the holster for his blaster which is a little sad but I do like how shiny he looks and just the detail looks really nice all the way around. First Order logo on the shoulder pads too. Articulation, the TIE Fighter pilot's head can't move left or right because of the tube right here. It will hinder the articulation a little bit but it can look up nicely and look down really nicely. And Little a side pivot too. Arms can fully rotate, go in and out that much, so the shoulder pads do go into the arm a little bit. They bend 90 degrees at the elbow as well as rotate, uh, rotate at the wrist as well as go in and out. Diaphragm joint that fully rotates, it uh, pivots forward and back, and a little side pivot. Legs can go forward that much, it can go back that much, they only go in and out that much. Rotate the upper part of the leg, bend at two points at the knee, and his ankles can pivot forward and back, and also has an ankle pivot side to side. The TIE Fighter Pilot does have a little blaster that you can't fit nicely in this hand has a little nice detail on there he doesn't have a holster though so i just kind of keep it in his hand when it's in the tie for a size comparison time with other star wars black series the tie fighter pilot stands a little over six inches tall just like the first order stormtrooper and a little bit shorter than kylo ren so here we got the tie fighter it is huge this thing's over two feet tall 22 inches wide it is crazy big the new design is basically has the red there on the left it has these gear kind of things for attaching the wings canopy windshield part you can see right through it and see the cockpit right there now this thing on the top right here this does not bend forward if you try to do it you will break it i almost did so but it does rotate and I don't know if it does become a gun or is it just like a satellite. Yeah, those big old gears right there. Two turrets right here and it has the spinning turrets right there. So even more guns, which I think the second pilot will control. Wings here you can see has this cool kind of vent uh, type of pattern going on. It's really big wings. Gears right there just looks so freaking cool. Yeah, the amount of detail on there is really nice actually for a nice collectible piece like this. Mostly just colored plastic for the most part. But yeah, you can see even like the detail 
on the top of the canopy opening. I really like the pattern right there underneath the TIE Fighter and with the guns. I really like the middle section of each of the wings. It looks really cool. A lot of different mechanics going on right there. Even the back of the TIE Fighter looks cool. You can see that red continues on the back right here. And I'm guessing these are the jet exhausts right down the back. So that way the second pilot can see what he's shooting at. Really like the design of this. Takes the classic TIE Fighter and just adds some even more awesomeness to it. Now when you open up the top part of the TIE fighter inside here you actually see some really nice detail inside really nice painted detail all on the control panels right there even got this kind of like circuit board type of feel on the upper part of the canopy there is actually a two seats in there and they have little kind of straps that you can hook them in there you can actually see all the control panels on both sides you even got little control handles right there and you can see all the painted detail all around there so it's actually really nice attention and detail that hasbro did so it's a little hard to show on camera how to put the tie fighter pilot in there but you just kind of have to put his legs you know like a sitting position and then you just put him in from the top and you kind of have to put him in between the control panel thing and then kind of put the clip around his waist. For the most part, I got him in pretty nicely. You can kind of have the hands holding onto the handlebar part, but you kind of have to move it around. You can see the TIE Fire Pilot through the little windshield part. Yeah, he looks really cool inside there. So here's a size comparison time with this Black Series TIE Fighter compared to the classic Hasbro 334 Fange Vintage Series TIE Fighter. It's even bigger than the at that we got in, as well as Igor, which is a huge Hot Toys figure. Overall, I'm very impressed with Hasbro's Black Series TIE Fighter. This thing is a beast. This is gonna be really hard if you're a kid trying to play this around. It's definitely gonna give you a workout. They make a Black Series X-Wing. I don't know how you can hold on to both of them without like toppling over. As a display piece, this is a showstopper. I don't think anything could be more impressive than this than if Hot Toys makes their TIE Fighter. This does retail for $170 though, so it is a little pricey. I do wish that there was some sort of electronics. It is nice, we are getting bigger to come along with it. So if you consider the figures 20 bucks, this is really a $150 piece, which yeah, that sounds about right, you know. It is a lot of plastic, there is a lot of weight to it, and it is pretty nicely detailed for the most part. Even though I do wish there was some lights and sound feature, if you're a huge Star Wars fan, and I mean huge, I definitely recommend this. For more, check out my website, it's seanxlong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long, may I live long and love life. One, two, three, first order of business. <clears throat> Get muscles so I can kick the resistance ass! <laughs> <laughs>